Hello again, friends. This video is going to be about the jump list and Helix. And uh, you should know that Helix keeps track of jumps, which are basically big movements like searching or jumping to the definition of a function in code. And it stores all these values in what's called the jump list. Let's say I want to jump to this file here. This is a file path and if I uh, I don't know. Yeah, we can jump to this one. I can jump to this one with, with GF. And now I'm here. And now, uh, if I press space J, I will see the jump list. This is the jump list. And as you can see, I basically saved where I was before. So, Helix automatically saved uh, this location where I was before I jumped into this file here on the jump list. And if I now press enter here, I can go back. What you can also do is that you can manually save your current position to the jump list. And you can do that by pressing control S. So now you can see below there, it says selection saved to the jump list. And now if I press space J again, you can see here, this is the position I just saved. So you can use this picker here to jump between these positions, but you can also use control I and control O. And you can remember that with in and out basically to move forward and backward in the jump list. So now if I press control O, I will go back to where I was before, before I jumped into this file here. And if I press control I now, I will go back to where I was here in this file. So the jump list is basically partly what Helix puts in it. So partly what Helix automatically saves whenever you search for stuff or whenever you jump from one file to the next, that will be in the jump list. But you can also put your own stuff in there and then you can switch between those things. And yeah, guys, I think that's it for this video. See you in the next video. Bye.